Itong si Ato Barba, but in their last game, he only scored eight points. He was limited as the defense was really focusing on him. Yeah, yun nga, Anton, eh. he, he had a quiet game with just eight points, but normally he aver he's averaging 20 points a game. So a bit quiet game for him. So let's see if makabawi siya this game. And as we as we can see, Saletra no, di nag start si Pau, and he didn't play last game. Yeah. So let's see if 100% na siya sa condition niya ngayon. Well, this is a good development for Letran, a guy who has been working in the shadows, so to speak. Kobe Monhe yeah. uh, with the entry of Jimbo Estrada and, of course, Deo Kuao's emergence along with Kevin Santos. Hindi natin masyado nababanggit si Kobe Monhe. Oh, my. But uh, he's a guy with a lot of potential as well. Great physical attributes to really make an impact at his position. Wow, short on his first triple try. And wow, smacks the ball away from an LBU player. You know, itong si Kuao, he's really hard to stop. Kasi yung shot niya, really jump shot, the guy said three points, so that's really hard to stop. As we can see, a wild pass there from Montesilio. Paolo bumping Santos. And Santos says, nope, that's yep. not gonna happen. You know, if you see Kevin Santos in the fast break, you're if you're going, if you're going to go hard for that layup, because, you know, as, as we know, Kevin Santos is going to block that shot. As we said in our pregame, you're in a danger zone yep. when you enter the paint with Santos in it. Santos all the way! As you were saying, Anton, and he really improved on his three-point shot also. He's like, he's got three points in this season. Eh. So, naging complete package na tong si Kevin Santos. The future is is looking scary in the NCAA as Santos continues to improve. Imagine having Santos and Avilinar inside the paint. That's really dangerous for other teams. All right, let's get our first courtside report from Riri Kalin. Anton and Prince coming into the Saturday bowl game after losing to the defending champions ang inaasahan lamang electron Knights head coach Allen Ricardo sa kanyang mga manilaro ay ang magtulungan sila lahat and to keep the hustle inside the court dagdag pa niya na maganda raw ang balik ng bola sa kanila when they keep on hustling converting 50-50 balls and rebounds into fast break now going against the number one scoring team ayon kay team captain Pau Habiginar it's all about maximizing the materials that they have dagdag pa niya bantay sarado raw ang individual tendencies ng kalaban para sa araw na ito would it be a bounce back win for them this game or will the Letcher Knights learn something new today balik sa inyo Anton Vince Thank you very much, Riri. Well, it's always going to be a learning experience, especially for teams with a lot of young players. Villegas all the way. And there's Pau Havinanar who sat out the last game because he was not feeling well back in uniform today. Montesilio, wow. wow. Still 0 of 2 for Kuahao. Konana pulls up. A little bit short on that attempt. Balik up bola sa netran. Kobe Mon is playing a, a big man right now. That, that's, that's different. But a big man who can shoot from the outside yeah. just a little bit short. So Santos playing the five, Monje playing the four. Montano. And there's Santos with a rebound. Oh. And Guajao picks it up. Oh! oh Passes to the wrong guy. And Villegas tracks down the loose ball. Villegas steps back. Montano. Hand off by Greg. Roll Lunana. good side. Montano, fade away. Good read for Kunana. Nakita niya yung roller na si Gal Montano. Walang suplot kay Montano. And he found him. A good shot for Gal Montano. Estrada mishandles the basketball. Villegas to Kunana. Kunana to Paolo for three. No, Santos with the board. This guy Estrada is really hard to stop, lalo na pag sa perimeter. But you know what, Anton? Siya, yun, siya na yung main guy sa Letran, but he's also number one sa turnovers. 
this season. So tama nga yung sabi nila, with great power comes with great responsibility. So ayun yung, as we see that shot, it was a bit forced. The shot clock was winding down, Estrada going for that one-legged runner from the three-point line. LPU off to a good start. I see uh, former King Pirate Robert. Enoch Valdez watching live. And oh. Valdez is clapping his hands as Avila scores. LPU races off to an eight-point advantage. Medina from the baseline. Are you sure? Hindi not the follow through. Medina. Zone to. 1-3-1 here in San Sebastian. Trying to get into their zone of offense. JRU wants to get that shooter loading on the corner. Wow, Raimundo staring down. Our live coverage here on GTV, simulcast on Heart of Asia, continues. This is NCAA Season 100, Siglo Uno, Inspiring Legacies. We have the NCAA Policy Board President, Attorney Roberto Laurel of Lyceum of the Philippines University. There you go. Great start for the Pirates. And of course, the there former King Pirate, Enoch Valdez. Mukhang gusto niya rin daw umupo dito eh, Anton eh. <laughs> He's agawan ka ng trabaho, oh, Prince. Ayun, no? And your Mukhang career just started there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing about Enoch ah, I fondly remember na naglaban sila ng San Beda and, and he and Jacob Cortez were really going yes. at it. Uh, and then eventually San Beda overcame their twice to be disadvantage. Oh, A few that. days later, he was in the starting lineup in the professional ranks. Wow. Grabe. What a development for this guy, Eno. Kasi si Villegas. Kala ko, ito-dunk na niya yan eh. <laughs> so warm-up kasi, he kept dunking. Nagulat ako na nakakadunk pala ito si Villegas. I don't know if there's any other player in recent memory na a few days after playing his last game in the collegiate level, nasa starting lineup in the professional oh. ranks. Idol ko yan, Eno Valdez. Estrada, one of the best. I'm surprised he didn't uh, be boarding. Oh, boarding! Because no? when he was being boarded by Jim Boy, the hard of the tira of Jim Boy, pure boarding. You think he's a champa? But you know, he's really been practicing the hard of the tira. Gunana, Avilas, challenging Santos. Avilas was bodying up, but Santos still bothering him. Not using the screen. He can shoot that. Santos moves closer. Short. Pinyapiel. No foul call. Oh, what a pass by Santos. Kobe. Good sidestep. Santos with a put back. And that's what he does. Put back, second chance. Second chance points, offensive rebounds. That's Kevin Santos right there. Look at Santos on the trail. Kay Santos nang galing yung pasa, ha? Oo. And if you're like si Yom Anton, you need to locate Kevin Santos all the time kasi lagi siya mag-go for the rebound talaga. Substitutions here made by Coach Alan Ricardo. Pauha Villanar is now in as is Jace Miller. Jace Miller, a different style of point guard. Well, plays a different style as a point guard. Now LPU calls a timeout. They are up by five. This is our league. This is our moment. So do so more. The sky is the limit. Alana, masama sama. Yeah, it's together. The shoot gives it to Montano. To the corner, Guadagna. Fourth the shoot, Guadagna. Fires a jumper is good! Oh. Maclod Guadagna! 
Aureliano will try once again. Five seconds. Basti Valencia from the tree. No good. And now PU Pirates survives another close game in this NCAA Season 100. Winning. That's Mark Denver Omega, former for Petwa, big man. Oh, wow. Walang tako doon si Peño Fiel. Nakita na si Santos yung magcha-challenge sa kanya. But he still went hard for it. So Mark Denver Omega serving his residency. For Letran. Abilinar. Grabe, may Omega pa pala ang Letra next year. So, bright future for them. Mawawala siya, Villionaire. Pero may Omega naman na dadating. So, the rule is in the NCAA, if you transfer from an NCAA school to another, you don't lose a playing year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, don't. if that's the case, nakatatlong taon siya sa Perpetual, he has two with Two Letran. more with Letran, yes. Letran's in a good hands pagdating sa center big position. Imagine that next season, Santos and Omega. Wow. Together. <laughs> Estrada with the o -rep. There you go, the back shot that you were talking about, Anton. That's his shot. The best in the NCAA when it comes to angles. And Santos again, leading the break. Javier Oh. Back shot again for Estrada. This time from the other side. Actually, parang siya lang yung kilala kong player talaga, Anton na ano eh, mahilig mag-bank shot eh, all the time, yep. yun yung hinahanap niya, hindi lang sa NCAA eh. Moranejo, the hero, in Barba. the last game. Barba off on the first shot, here is Estrada. Gandang matchup to, Estrada Villegas, Villegas, pesky defender. Jim Boy. On the move, Estrada. Woo! This guy is almost unstoppable. Susubu. 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 Not that time. <laughs> Nahuli na ni Kevin. I love the aggression though. Estrada. Short. Di kasi bang shot on Tony. <laughs> and Miller with the interception. Miller to Santos. Watch out. Santos with the finish. Good fast break point there for Latran. Miller giving up that drop pass to Kevin Santos. Barba. In and out, Santos with another board. In this parin, para kay Barba. Santos has six rebounds and wow. seven points. Impressive. First quarter pa lang tayo. Good steal for a Villanoir. Take advantage of that. There you go. And that's what he does. Play physical. And if you're Letran, sobrang swerte ka kay Pao Villainer to have that kind of play in a very physical. And, and will get into heads of your opponent. That's really, that's really big. You know, I wanted to ask you about <laughs> Pao Villainer because as a Benildian, yes, sir. hindi kayo nagpantayan. But of course, uh, he was always trying to get in the head of Will Gosso. Yes. Well, that's his role, eh? and it kind of worked, yeah. <laughs> so, you, so you would say you were also annoyed? I was really annoyed with this guy. Pero tropa ba kaya si Pao? Kaya ang sarap niya maging kakampi, pero kung kalaban, maiinis ka talaga. Dilek, wow! Dipsy do! And Estrada comes up with a rebound. Pero itong si Dilek, unting-unti na nagpapakilala sa NCAA, ha? These past few games, naging maganda yung naging performance niya. Luna. Estrada. Javi Lenar. Grabe. Lao na yung step niya dun. I feel like Pau Javi Lenar is pro-ready. Ngayon. 
Well, we all thought he was going to go pro oh. already. But it's back for one final run. Miller. Nunez played really well also last game. He grabbed a lot of rebounds. I think eight or nine, and that really played a huge part. Pero yun lang natalo pa rin sila. No one gets that bad. Estrada step back, fade away. Jim Boy, Estrada is on point. Even I don't know how to stop this guy because he can go left or right. Pag dating sa perimeter, sobrang stoppable na niya. As we see Barba with that side step. First two points for Ato Barba. They're going to need him today. Yeah. Ato Barba, Novak Lord Guadagna. Miller. Oh. oh. That's the second foul on Ato. That's huge. Step back. Parang layup na para sa kanya to eh, yung mga perimeter. Wow, this is a huge development. Barba, LPU's top scorer, the NCAA's top scorer. Two personal fouls already and Miller sinks the first of three free throws. And ang malala pa doon ito, it was a bad foul because wala nang mapupuntaan si Miller and it was a tough shot so he didn't really have to foul. The players forget that there's one <laughs> more. <laughs> you can see how Panelo and Abilinar were, were really active, trying to box each other out. And the referee was like, hold up, hold up. Shadow are excited, they're both two. There's one, there's one. Third free throw. Miller sinks it. Three of three. Last shot for it. I see him with a second left. Dynag. Bang. That was close. Looked good. But at the end of one, LPU trails.